my channel as a dark coach and in today's lecture we will study this poem my mother at 66 for cbse class 12 this is the first poem uh, from the book flamingo so let's study this chapter uh, poem sorry so let's study this poem which is written by kamala Das. so we'll, see, we'll read the um, like what about the author like in this first paragraph is about the author so let's start we need to read this. So my mother at 66 is a poem where the author is whose author is sorry, I'm so sorry, where whose author is Kamala Das. Kamala Das. The writer is famous for capturing the complications of relationships between human beings. So what how how what is like the writer Kamala Das Osho? She is famous for writing uh, for capturing the complications, complications of relationships. The relationship hai, or the complication of relationships between human beings. Wo, or, well, she writes poems related to the complications of relationships, right? Which we'll happen between human beings. So the poem is one of the best examples of bonding in humans. Bonding. Especially the bond between a, between a mother and a daughter. The poem defines the fear of author of losing her mother. My mother at 66 somebody will elaborate on the feelings of the author and will also define the meaning of the poem. So sorry guys, I don't have the poem right now in this the document, but in the next class, I next class I'll surely have the poem of this chapter, My Mother 66. So we've seen about Kam Kamala Das, who's the author of this poem. So this Poem is actually it's an example, it's example of bonding in humans. Human ke jo bonding hoti hai, right? Kaisi hoti hai? Especially the bond between a mother and a daughter. If mother or daughter ke beech ka bond is poem mein batayenge, so there is a fear, dar. Poem dar of the author. Ki author ko kya kis cheez se dar hai of losing her mother. Matlab dar is baat hai ki wo apni mummy na matlab koi. My mother is 66. So somebody will elaborate on the feelings. Matlab, feelings elaborate on the feelings. Feelings the kind of daughter, kaisi, the daughter jo hai, how is she feeling? Meaning, in the sense, uh, she has a fear of losing her mother, right? So, oh, he feelings ki baat ho hai. and we also define the meaning of the poem. Meaning, kya hai? Poem bata kya hai? what is the meaning? So, Let's read. So my mother at 66. Oh, one second. So my mother at 66. So aging in an inescapable phase of every human life. A person enters their childhood experiences adolescence when they are energetic and have so many dreams. Finally, every person approaches their old age and they, and they, they die. Relationships between people become much stronger in every phase of life. No one, no one can bear the separation from their loved ones just because of aging. So, this poem is age. Jo hai, it is an inescapable phase of life. Hai sabki life hai. Maybe I am 19. Like a person can be 32 or 38. So it is an inescapable phase. Matlab, ye kaisa phase hai jisme hum kabi escape hi nahi kar sakte na. Ye kaisa phase hai. Ye sabki life mein hoga. Sab person ke life mein hoga. They will experience the adolescence, their childhood, when they're, when they're energetic, but and have so many dreams, of course. But finally, we have a basic approach. We have a basic phase. We are very old. We are very old. And we are very old. We die eventually. So, relationships between people become much stronger in every phase of life. In every phase of life, there is a relationship between people. They become much stronger, but close with them, the closeness, the bond is close. So, no one can bear the separation from the loved one just because of aging. So, if because of aging, so no one can bear the separation. Matlab, separation se, matlab, door separate ho gai, na? So, no one can bear that. Right? So, this is the whole paragraph is about this aging. Aging is what is and how is it important, right? In everyone in everyone's life. So let's tell me. Okay. So first thing when the author going to the coaching with her mother, she looks at her carefully and presents 
uh, her before her her marriage her image as she looks at her mother's soft and white whitish face she gets struck with fear of losing her mother her mother with a sleepy face and open mouth is comparable to a corpse here the author shows love and affection in relationship between a mother and daughter so kya hua author was going to the cochin airport with her mother she looks at her carefully and pres- presents before her her image as she looks at her mother soft and whitish face matlab yahan describe kiya ja raha hai ki jo unki mummy ka jo face tha it was soft it was whitish she gets stuck with a fear of losing her mother matlab unko ye dar paida hua bad ya unke ki wo apni maa ko la khote kar rahe right so her mother with a sleepy face and open mouth is comparable to a uh, corpse तो कॉक्स क्या होता है बॉडी राइट तो वो बोल रहे कि शी वॉज कंपेरेबल था कि उनका जो मम्मी का जो स्लीपी फेस एंड ओपन माउ उनकी आंखें तो से आंखें बंद है मुंह खुला हुआ है तो इट वॉज कंपेरेबल टू कॉक्स मतलब डेड बॉडी की तरह उसे कंपेयर किया है तो ऑथर शोज लव एंड अफेक्शन वो लव और अफेक्शन दे रही है मतलब एक रिलेशनशिप दिख रहा है बिटवीन अ मदर एंड अ डॉटर जो बॉन्ड है है ना वही है The poet is heard. The poet is heard and sad and shifts her attention outside the car for driving out the undesirable scene. She changes her bag mood. The scene from the window of the car is uh, of rising life and energy. A fast and sprinting green and huge trees alongside cherry playing kids represent life, youth, and vitality. So, यहाँ क्या बोल रहे हैं? यहाँ दे सीन that the poet है. उनको बहुत हर्ट हो रहा है वो बहुत दुखी है उनको देख रहे कि मैं वो वो हर्ट है तो वो जो अपना अटेंशन है वो बाहर देखती है आउट ऑफ द कार फॉर ड्राइविंग ऑफ द अनडिजायरेबल फीलिंग्स ड्राइविंग ऑफ द जो उनके अंदर फीलिंग्स आ रही है व्हिच इज नॉट व्हिच इज नॉट प्लेजेंट राइट प्लेजेंट नहीं है शी इज हर्ट शी इज सैड अपने मम का फेस देख के राइट तो शी इज सैड तो शी चेंज इज अ बैड मूड तो अपने मूड को चेंज करने के लिए शी ड्राइव्स अ शी Changes the attention by seeing outside uh, the car. So the scene from the window of the uh, car is driving life in it. So window se jaha dekh nikal ke window se she is seeing that of driving life. मतलब with energy life फिर से बढ़ शुरू राइज हो रही है. The fast sprinting green and blue streets alongside the cherry. चेयरफुली प्लेइंग किड्स तो यहाँ बोल रहे कि जो फास्ट ग्रीन स्प्रिंटिंग मतलब ऑब्वियसली जा रहे हैं तो ऑफकोर्स स्प्रिंटिंग ग्रीन एंड ब्लू स्ट्रीज दिख रहा है तो द पोइट हेयर इज रिमेम्बरिंग अबाउट हर ओन चाइल्डहुड इन हर चाइल्डहुड हर मदर वॉज यंग एंड ब्यूटिफुल वेर इज नाउ हर मदर इज सराउंड बाई द फेयर ऑफ लूजिंग हर लाइफ and made her insecure and sad ab yahan kya bol rahe hain and they saying that in their childhood mein her mother was very young and beautiful bahut khoobsurat thi aur bahut young bhi thi bahut jawan thi where is now her mother is surrounded by the fear of losing her life matlab ab woh dar paida ki wo apni life na kho baithe and that made her insecure and sad so what is the the boy who is insecure about insecure and she sad so that's it for today guys i hope you like it this is the part 1 and the next class we will uh, finish with this uh, poem so thank you guys i hope you guys like it so please subscribe to my channel and please please feed to comment on my videos so thank you guys love you all